thoughts on jumping and getting dunks off of one foot. Um, I've recently started training for it and started getting them um, pretty weak, like real, real rim grazer dunks, but you know, off the dribble. I can only get it to the left or off the right foot, but progress is progress. Um, if you want to see it, it's on Instagram. You can check that vid out. Um, Travis D. Wu over there. But, yeah, just to show you that I'm gaining a little bit. Not the, I'm not the bounciest up one foot, but um, I've come a long way, so. Uh, main keys, I think, to it are understanding the timing, like timing of the steps um, off, off one foot seems to be the biggest thing. Like, the guys that aren't very good, I think. I think slowing down is really helpful, actually. <laughs> like, learning the steps slowly, and then you can speed up from there, rather than trying to just sprint into it. Uh, but it's like, all comes down to the ending steps. Say if I'm jumping, I prefer to go to the left, off the right foot, but the last steps would be like... Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. If that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, walk around doing it and imagining. I'm doing stuff with my upper body too. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. Basically, you like, yeah, the steps, there's a long step and a fast step, and you have to figure out why that is. Left, right, left. That felt wet. Left, right, left. Yeah, to go to the right. Um, yeah, I, um, timing, it's all about like breaking your forward momentum or transferring it rather. So there's that, and I think that's probably the biggest thing. When you're walking, I'm just walking. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. But that's whack because I need to be thinking about landing too, um, which I'll get into talking about at the end of the video a little more. But other stuff I've been doing for one foot. Um, the main one I had been doing, trying to kiss a goal post and land, soccer goal post. It's not that high, it's only like 24 inch, but barefoot and on turf, you don't get up as high. Um, and yeah, it forces you to be really in control because if you fuck up, you smash your face or yeah, fuck up your landing. So it forces you to be slow and learn the step slowly, which I think is good. And then right now, I'm going to, I'm in Gijon, Gijon, northern Spain, pretty small city, but took the bus out here, going to the beach to do one foot, one foot, um, yeah, there's sand, going barefoot, and running up, like, there's a little dune, basically, and doing one foot jump, jumps up the dune, but, um, um, so, sorry, the people just being overwhelmed by people right now. It's incredibly distracting. I'm um, going up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everything barefoot and soft ground, except when I'm on the court. Um, I think barefoot, soft ground is just the best thing for recovery. It's just natural, it just feels magical. Shout out to D Wade and the rest of the Heat who are probably maybe barefoot on Miami Beach right now. Good chance of it. Well, everyone else is in a dog fight. But yeah, those are basically the exercises. That's everything I'm doing. And I think that's everything you need. Mostly, I'm not doing anything weight lifting specific for it. I do clean, pull, squat, jerk for two foot jumping. I don't think it's that relevant for one foot jumping, although it might be. The big question for me so far has been landing because as a dunker, you don't want to be, you know, we're in, we're in it for the long haul. We'd like to go pro and be smashing dunks at 30, right? In order to do that, we need to be pretty smart and careful with our bodies. And I think as a dunker, that means being real smooth, being cat-like, landing like a ninja, you know. Um, I'm not doing that off one foot. 
Like, I'm barely getting up, like maybe, probably not, probably 30 inches, right? Maybe even less. I don't, probably about 30 inches with the ball, maybe less, I don't know. I'm not getting up that high, but it's been, it's been hurting me. The landings have been hurting me. Because I'm coming down off one foot, there's no way to like bail out. Or like, I don't know. Because the thing about, the thing about two foot jumps compared to one foot jumps in terms of like, two foot jumps, you can travel, you travel less, you have less capacity to travel distance horizontally to cover distance. Um, like one foot jumps, you're going to jump farther pretty much. That's why you see people do one foot from the free throw line. It's obvious. Um, but that makes it harder to like land in a squat because off two foot, you can just kind of sit down potentially or get to the rim. Um, you don't have as much forward momentum. One foot, you have tons of forward momentum and maybe the same vertical momentum, but you can't like, you can't spell it into a slide or you can't, it's, hard, it's, harder, to, it's harder to hang off one foot for sure because you're, you're zooming generally past the rim. So I'm not really sure what the best way to land is if you're coming down, coming down fast or <laughs> like running, I don't know. I think that I maybe just have a preference for t two foot jumping. I th it seems like maybe it's easier on your body, but then like you have Kador Ziani, who's just throws all that into question. Maybe, I don't know. It's not that, hmm, I don't know. Anyways, here's the beach, I guess. It's about to end the video, but I'm just getting to the beach right now, so I'll show you guys what it's looking like. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So this is looking north of Spain. Pretty warm out. April. It's probably just under 70, I'd say. But the sun's out, so it feels, feels nice. You got barefoot humans. People living natural lives. Spanish are pretty healthy. Massive sand beach, great for training. Brought my football, what us Americans call soccer ball. Um, just gonna work on footwork, gonna run up the dunes. Um, gonna have, those just like, you can see. Yeah, I'm um, gonna um, have a little picnic. Um, chill out and um, enjoy the sunshine. So peace out, thanks for watching. Let me know what y'all think. Hope this helps you get up higher off one foot and maybe do it for a really long time without getting injured by landing safely.